Hi, my name is Danny Rogers. I'm the team reporter for the Detroit Lions. What's up, Detroit? I'm Jill Costanza, the sports science director. My name is Kristen Dale. I'm the director of operations. Hi, my name is Jessica Gray, and I'm the co-director of player engagement for the Detroit Lions. This is the Jill dance right here. <laughs> this is the Jillness. Hey, knees over ankles. Oh. Yeah, I think women just provide a different perspective, not just in the hard skills, but also the soft skills, the people, the relationships. The female energy sometimes is needed right like let's decompress like let's let's hug like let's let's feel what we're feeling it's great to see the changes over the years just that there are more females in these roles and having a lot of different input from a variety of people is always very helpful this is my very first mentor, this is Laura Oakman. My first time ever meeting Laura was in LA when I was doing one of her galvanized boot camps. She essentially raised me in this career and just solidified the path that I was taking was the right one and the way to go down the path was the correct way to do it. So this is a photo of me and my mother and people say I look like her but I think she looks like me. She is the epitome of what I think a girl boss is, a woman leader is. I wouldn't be in this opportunity or any opportunity I've ever had if I didn't have her as an example of resiliency, persistence, faith, hard work, and just being a good person and leading with love. First and foremost, the number one woman in my life would be my mom. And then, you know, my mentor and the strength and conditioning human performance would be Coach Sandy Abney from, at the time, at the University of Texas. She just gave me so much great advice that I still use to this day. You know, how to build relationships, how to lead, how to be an effective coach and communicator. And I learned the importance of valuing your name and what you attach yourself to, and that not everybody deserves it. You know, your reputation is everything, so whatever you're signing your name to, it better be worth it. Having a woman that gets you and understands you and can be that guidance for another woman is so important. If you don't see someone who looks like you doing something, how in the heck are you supposed to think that you're supposed to be doing it? That just solidifies that we belong here, that we know our stuff. The closer we can be together and bind together and create that community, the better. You know, we all can get to the top. It's not a competition. We can all get there together and we're stronger together. My advice to women who want to work in the NFL or work in sports is to one, find a mentor that you can really just latch on to and get all of your advice from. Along the way, you'll, you'll be met with some self-doubt or thinking, oh, I have to know it all before I'll take that step. And just know, you know, that's all a big lie. Trust that you have the confidence that you will figure it out. Don't think that you need to have all the answers right up front. My second piece of advice is never to say no, regardless of how small some things might seem. You never know when you're gonna be able to pick up a tool and put it in your toolkit and just make you successful down the road. Really for anybody, it's, it's being willing to do any kind of task that comes up. You need to work as hard as you can, whenever you can, put in the time. First and foremost is to be yourself, show up authentically, holistically who you are every single day, because you can illuminate all the rooms that you are in if you are authentically who you are.